His check on stories we're following for you today on Robin Hood Radio. It's Super Tuesday in Massachusetts. Here are some of the polling places that are open in Berkshire County from 7 a.m. till 8 p.m. The Beckett Town Hall the Community Center in Dalton, in Egremont, the Fire Station, in Great Barrington, Precincts A, C, and D at the Fire Station on State Road, Precinct B, Housatonic at the Community Center on Main Street, Monterey Town Hall, New Marlboro Town Hall, Otis Town Hall, Sandusfield Old Town Hall, Sheffield Senior Center, in Stockbridge, the town offices, and in West Stockbridge, the Village School. A story in this weekend's Republican American by Kurt Moffat, the State Department of Energy and Environmental Protection in Connecticut, is seeking the public's help in tracking bobcats. They say it's important to monitor the state's bobcat population because their presence as a top predator affects many other species. In Connecticut, bobcats prey on cottontail rabbits, woodchucks, squirrels, chipmunks, mice, voles, white-tailed deer, birds, and, to a much lesser extent, insects and reptiles. Bobcats also may prey on unsupervised domestic animals including small livestock and poultry. The bobcats the EEP is most interested in are the ones wearing or had been wearing a collar that tracked their whereabouts. Wildlife staff placed collars on 50 bobcats between November of 2018 and March of 2019. The collars are fitted with global positioning systems that monitors the bobcats' movements without hurting them. They ask anybody who spots a bobcat to provide the following information, date and specific location of the sighting, the number of the bobcats involved, and what whether they are visible ear tags or collars on the bobcats, and whether the sighting is from a trail camera or not. A notice of cancellation of the exchange dinner meeting because there are two other local public meetings that will interfere. The next meeting will be on Tuesday, March 17th. If you need help paying your Eversource bill, Eversource will be holding a meeting from 4 till 6 p.m. at the Sharon Town Hall Large Meeting Room, Understanding the New Smart Program, Utility Matching Payment Program, and Budget Billing Payment Arrangements, and Home Energy Solutions. It's hosted by the Sharon Social Service Office under Miriam Jones. More information at 860-364-1003. The Dine Out for History continues at Taro's Pizzeria. It runs from 5 until 9 p.m., at Taro's in Millerton, New York. Representative Maria Horn will speak at 5.30 at Noble Horizons, Cobble Road in Salisbury. Lee H. Kellogg School Board of Education has their meeting at 6 o'clock at the school. The annual Canaan Fire District meeting will happen from 7 till 8 p.m. at North Canaan Town Hall in Cornwall at 7 o'clock. The Inland Wetlands and Watercourse Commission meets at the Town Office Building at 7.30. The Board of Selectmen at Town Hall. Journal writing for wellness at Noble Horizons. It's free and open to the community. It's at their learning center. It runs on March 4th. That's Wednesday from 4 until 6 p.m. RSVP at 860-435-0816. The Kent Board of Education will have their regular meeting at the Kent Center School. That is coming up on Wednesday at 5 p.m. Kent Memorial Library hosting a series about grief Wednesday evenings, 32 North Main Street, led by the town resident Ron Marasco, a retired professor with 27 years of experience at the College of Communication and Fine Arts at Loyola Marymount. The lecture tomorrow will be in the library reading room. It's free and open to the public. Great Barrington's first congregational church on Main Street presenting Poor People's Campaign, a national call for moral revival. That meeting is tomorrow at 6.30 in the evening. In Dover, New York, the Zoning Board has their regular meeting, which is coming up on Wednesday at 7 o'clock at Town Hall. At Noble Horizons, you can learn to protect your assets. Noble Horizons and Salisbury Bank hosting a complimentary dinner and presentation with Connecticut Partnership for Long-Term Care on Thursday, 5.30, where participants will learn to protect their life savings. More information or reservations at 860-435-9851. Sharon Park and Recreation has their regular meeting coming up on Thursday at 6 p.m. at Town Hall. The planning board meeting for Ankrum, New York, will be at Town Hall on Thursday at 7 p.m. 
At 7 p.m. in Salisbury, Connecticut, on Thursday, they'll receive initial budgets for the Board of Ed and Board of Selectmen. The town of Ancrum seeking applications from qualified individuals to serve as the town's part-time animal control or dog control officer. You need to apply no later than 5 p.m. on Friday, March 6th at Town Hall. On Friday, the Chancellor Livingston Chapter NSDAR monthly meeting at the Rhinebeck Reformed Church will be held with Bell Jeffway and Melody Moore of Dutchess County Historical Society presenting I Serve Voices of Dutchess County Veterans. That's at 1 o'clock. The Mad Gardener's Symposium will happen on Saturday at Housatonic Valley Regional High School. Registration at 8.30. Program from 9 until 3 with lunch included. You need to register online to save paper at bit.y slash mg2020symposium. In Cornwall, Connecticut, coming up on Saturday, 9 o'clock, Cornwall Association monthly meeting at the Union, 5 to 7, the art opening at the library, and at 7 p.m., the community contra dance at Town Hall. The Regional District Planning Committee, BHRSD and SBRSD, on Saturday at 10 a.m. at the offices of the Berkshire Hills Regional School District in Stockbridge. West Side Story, Broadway Revival, is set to open. A new film by Steven Spielberg. Four Saturdays in March, the Kent Memorial Library will offer an intensive study of the Jets and the Sharks, Maria and Tony, the music and lyrics of Leonard Bernstein, and Stephen Sondheim and choreography of Jerome Robbins. The sessions will be held March 7th, 14th, 21st, 28th, 2.30 at Kent Town Hall. To register, kentmemoriallibrary.org slash event registration. Twelve Moons Coffee House on Saturday from 7 till 10 p.m., George Potts with Gordon Titcom at the Center on Main in Falls Village. Donations keep the music playing. All are welcome to attend. On Sunday, the Sharon Ambulance Pancake Breakfast is held beginning at 7 o'clock at the Firehouse in Sharon. It's a full buffet breakfast. You're invited to join in the laughter and chatting with familiar faces. It runs till 10.30. Benefit Brunch continues at the Interlaken on Sunday for Habitat for Humanity. That runs 11 until 1. Next at the Hotchkiss Library of Sharon's Sunday at 4 program, the ballot and the Big Apple will look at how New York City helped shape the long battle for women's suffrage. The talk will be led by historian Lauren Santiangelo on Sunday, March 8th at 4 p.m. More information, hotchkisslibrary.org. Our business brief is underwritten by Morgans at the Interlaken, interlakenin.com, and by Salisbury Bank, salisburybank.com. Wild ride continues on Wall Street. The Dow Jones Industrial Average up over 1,293 points to 26,703.32 yesterday. NASDAQ starts off today at 89.52.17, and the S&P 500 at 3,090.23. We'll take a look at the tri-state forecast. That'll come your way in just a few moments. 